Alright, good morning everybody, what's left of it, <clears throat> it's almost noon, it's uh, February 3rd, Wednesday, and yesterday, Microsoft released uh, KD4598291, it's a cumulative, cumulative update preview, I don't know why they call it a preview, and it's released, but anyway, it's a uh, <clears throat> new build for your Windows 10 machine. Uh, it came out yesterday. Um, and here's uh, some of the highlights uh, of the release. Most of these, I read through this already, most of these are relating to um, stuff that was fixed on version 2004. If you if you got the latest, you're running 20H2, but some of this stuff is for 20H2, It's but most of it's for 20H4. So here we go. We got updates an issue that causes the device to stop responding when you play a game in full screen or tablet mode. Updates an issue with control caps lock and all caps lock. All caps lock to switch to hiragana and katakana mode, respectively, after upgrading to Windows 10 in 2004. Um, updates an issue that prevents you from opening a document that is on the Windows desktop. That's a bad one. Updates an issue that creates duplicate cloud provider folders in the file explorer navigation pane. That, I wonder if that's related to an issue I was having at my job. If you double up um, some of the folders that you, uh, or some of the system folders like documents, pictures, and all that stuff, you double them up into the OneDrive folder, man, that, that, that could be a pain in the ass to try to find out which one's the real one and which one's not the real one because they don't, that's a, that's a long story. They don't have properties to let you distinguish which one's which. So if it's, if it's, if it's saving, if it's uh, saving stuff to local, I'm trying to remember what the problem was. If it's save, saving stuff to the local uh, folder, it'll override the cloud one and it won't save it to the cloud or something it won't sync to the cloud or something like that. I don't know. I ran into it. Just make sure you're not doubling up uh, the same folder. You're not duplicating the same system folder, like a pictures or documents folder, like, you know, user folders. Don't double them up in one driver. So you can run into problems like I did. So, uh, <clears throat> updates an issue with some special key combinations using in, I don't know what that is. Uh, might cause an application to stop working. Good for them. Updates an issue that displays a blank lock screen after a device wakes up from Hibernate. There's always Hibernate problems. If you're not using a laptop, even if you are using a laptop, for the most part, try to avoid Hibernate. Turn Hibernate off. Hibernate takes up, causes problems when it recovers from Hibernate. Hibernate takes up, uh, uh, it writes to the disk more when it has to Hibernate. Um, takes up this space, etc., etc. Hibernates sucks. Um, corrects historical daylight savings time and information for the pa Palestinian Authority. Updates an issue that incorrectly deactivates some Windows 10 education services after upgrading to Windows 10 to version 2004. Updates an issue that might cause the alt tab order to change unexpectedly and cause you to switch to the wrong window. Oh, thanks, Microsoft. Updates an issue that fails to show extract all on the shortcut menu when you right click an online only zip file. I guess that matters for them since they got a lot of uh, OneDrive stuff. Um, improves, improvements and fixes. And this is this is what I mean how most of this is for 2004. But uh, it says uh, non this is a non security update. This non security update includes quality improvements. Key changes include. This build includes all improvements from Windows 10 version 2004. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, addresses an issue that might cause the alt tab order. So, yeah, it, this is mainly for the alt tab order, I guess, for 20H2. And for all the 2004 users, it fixes all these other problems, which I assume a lot of these fixes are built into 20H2. I'll just assume that. I'm not going to read through all that. But what, what what came alongside this drive, and I just updated my uh, description for the video that I made about the uh, the latest Realtek drivers that I put that I put in. I had a rant in that description about the uh, Avolute software component and then the Himic 
the Nehemic component that's on my MSI computer, even though I don't have Nehemic installed. I have that software component that <clears throat> needs its driver, and it need, need, and the driver may or may not to be uh, updated because I'm not sure I use the uh, Avolute software component to process my effects, such as acoustic echo cancellation. I'm pretty sure I use uh, uh, the uh, Realtek driver does it for me, but I was concerned about having to uh, use MSI's tool to update that driver. But along with this release from Microsoft from Windows 10 came, uh, if you look closely, whenever you, uh, whenever you get uh, new updates from Windows 10, it'll, it'll, it'll use, if you look closely at, at the bottom of the, of the new updates, it usually says um, optional updates. You should check that because they usually have updates for your, uh, you know, your Bluetooth driver, your Wi-Fi driver, your network, your, you know, your Ethernet driver. And they'll also have uh, sometimes some other stuff they'll even offer up like an NVIDIA driver if you don't have it, if, if you don't have the latest NVIDIA driver from a site. But it'll offer up some drivers that you may not have the latest, the latest of. And uh, for me, it offered up, let me show you, my Avalu driver, exactly what I was complaining about in the other video. I was like, I don't want to use the MSI, the, uh, the MSI tool to do it because I don't want to have Nehemic installed on my computer. I'll get the driver, but then I'll have to uninstall Nehemic if I don't want it on there. So I don't want it on there. So yeah, <laughs> in Windows 10, it came up as an optional driver. So here it is. This is, uh, I was, you know, version 3.1 before now I'm 3.2.2.0, which should be the latest. So yeah, Windows 10 did that for me. I don't have to, uh, you know, it was bothering my OCD a little bit that I didn't have the latest driver for this software component, but I said I was going to leave it alone. That's how I fight my OCD because I'm not sure I need it. Um, but I have it. If it does in some way, shape, or form still be used, I don't think it does without Nehemic, but I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe it does do some of the... Uh, and the audio enhancements, I don't know, but you know, I got uh, this guy right here, the uh, Realtek one, who I think does it, but I'm I'm totally unsure. Uh, but yeah, since I'm not sure, but now I don't have to worry about. It. I got the latest uh, driver for all the above, and so let's see my um, let's see, this is my desktop. I have not. I have not, uh, you see I'm queued right here to, to restart, to apply the uh, the update, this guy right here, the, the update that came out yesterday. So before that update has come out, my build is uh, 1904.2.746. Uh, so my laptop, which has just completed the... Uh, My laptop, which has just completed the uh, update, let's take a look at it. Let's, uh, let's see if this is. Um, let's check the build version on the laptop compared to the desktop. So yeah, uh, the laptop is up, has jumped up to 789, and the desktop is 746. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to restart and get the uh, desktop up to 19042 789 as well and then i'll be up to date and then i could probably uh if i have time today do the do the imaging of both machines back them up just in case seems like i never need to restore from backup but it's peace of mind right you never need it until you need it <laughs> ain't that the truth um anyway Thanks for watching. Um, I might do some retro game streaming today. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Still fighting the fighting the health. Shoveled snow yesterday and the day before, so I'm gonna take it easy today. And uh, everybody have a nice day. Later.